Time for another Schmodown. We Woo! got the inner geeked him four way. I have no idea who's in this. Oh Besides God. Jason Inman. Because he's the one that won Monday. I thought we talked about this one. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Who else is in this? Yeah, I know you know. Rachel Cushion. Overrated. Okay. Uh, Coy Jandrew. I don't know who that is. Uh, Redhead uh, won the uh, five way when Emma Feist was competing the first time. And Mike Kalinowski. Oh. And then you have Rachel Cushion. Or no. And then Jay Washington. Oh. Yeah, Jay Washington's kind of overrated. You beat the former champ. Yeah. Bart. Yeah, he's kind of overrated too. Um. Yeah, I'm going Jason Inman. Um. I don't know who I'm going. Um, uh, Cushion could do it though, for I sure. Think, I think I'm, Cushion I'm sure, just. But. I think it's going to come down to Cushion and Inman. And depends on the final category. But I don't think. I don't think Cushion has a weakness on that wheel. If uh, it's just a ten, we saw Tuesday. If James Bond comes back and she got a five point James Bond question, I think she could lose. But if not, then uh, that's a let's start this uh, little vote. Let's do it. It's an hour long. I think I saw it on there. So. <laughs> Should be entertaining. John, Matt, thank you both for coming in today. Oh, we're gonna make this work. We're gonna Woo! Everyone, everyone's gonna be yeah, happy. Oh, it's right. Action. We're gonna make this. Uh, we're gonna make uh, this whole match is gonna be okay. With that, I respect you. I know you, you're the interim commissioner. But how you? How can you be sure these guys are gonna show? Because you can barely corral these guys. Yeah. They they told me they'd be here. I believe they'll be here. You sure they're not suit shopping or something? <laughs> I, I mean, maybe, but they, they will make it here. They will make it here. Don't you worry. Uh, oh, there it is. All right. Where's the belt? Fashion. Yeah. Well, well. Look at that. Oh, wow. Is it visiting hours for the retirement home? Good. Golf and calisthenics. Treating you well. I love. You have shoulder pads in that jacket? Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> that's Is that a medium suit? Look at that. All right. Boys, on. boys, boys, boys. Yeah. We've all we've all gotten here for one reason. Yes. We're all here for one reason. You oh stop it. We're we're here for one reason. We're gonna sign the paper. Yeah. We're gonna get everything squared away for this match. Uh, you know what we want. Well, yes. We we don't want to play you again. Really? We already beat you. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna compromise yeah. a little bit. We're gonna compromise a little bit. We're gonna give you some sticking points and you some sticking points and everyone's gonna be okay. Alright. Alright? Now, first of all. If they win, which they won't, if why even waste our time? We're gonna just put it in writing. They will then get a number one contender match if they win. They won't be the number one contender. They, they will get. That's they will get a number one contender match. We didn't ask for it, uh, yeah. but that's uh, we okay. appreciate the commission. Uh, uh, you, and ask for it. Nope. I'm pretty sure I heard on Atlanta Nation you specifically asking for it. No, asking to whip your ass. Yeah, but we didn't ask for number one contender. Don't. All right. All right. Okay. If they win, they'll get the number one contender match. If they if if action wins, they will get a title match. You already okay. If you win, yeah, you'll you get a title it, match. That's what you asked for. That's what you're gonna get. Number twenty. If you win, four. you will get yeah, a title match. If they win, they get a top contender. <laughs> match, okay. Sure. Now they have also requested that spinner's choice and opponent's choice be off the wing. Where is Christian? Where is yeah. this? this is bullshit. Oh really? What? You need that luck to win? Yeah, yeah. You can't do a mono a mono knowledge and knowledge. You want to go with King? Hey, 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 hey. Kids, <laughs> Christian's not here. I'm in charge. How now, are you letting these losers the It doesn't count. You just well, lost a match. Who are you calling a loser? You're saying it? that. The people that lost Wait, to us. Guys, you're saying that, but you guys requested something else that they don't know about yet. And. Oh, you did. Yeah. Yeah, I was blacked out. I don't remember. I've been drinking incessantly so, since we lost. If Sounds they win, like they have, they have insisted. Well, if they win. You guys break up for a year. Oh, a whole 365 that, days. You guys probably won't be alive by the end of it. Yeah, also, let, let the other folks discuss their applesauce. They're gonna they're gonna make a decision for what they want. You know, follow Is that all right? beans. Can you handle that? Let's give us a curry. All right. Damn. Okay. Oh. Sign it. It's the fourth one right so there. I hope they win. Yeah, I don't want to not see that top ten. Yeah. Play for it. <laughs> yeah, no. It's Sign my, the contract. It's my favorite team, so let's just sign the fucking papers. Don't, don't stop, 
Stop trying to lip read. Come on. Nice it's fine. <laughs> Not a lot of nations will forget about you. Don't even care. Yeah, Don't I even care. Didn't think that you were going to have balls to start. Right. You are going to dream about that signature, you moron. Adios, muchachos. I can't. Stay with the spectacular boys. Sign right there. Make sure you show up on time. <laughs> and Ben, get a suit that fits for God's sake. Hey, how many matches are going to be in the spectacular? A <laughs> Don't need to, baby. We're going to have to take off a day of work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just sit here all day. I see no way. I see no way. Make sure you're on time tonight. Once again, this is oh, where she belongs. They lost against the 
up lying. She lost that fault. inner Geekdom Championship. And Rachel Cushing is dangerous. Yeah. She knows about comic book movies. Dangerous. She knows about Lords of the Rings. She knows about, not the Lords, Lords of the Rings. She knows about <laughs> all of these like... things, Harry Potter. She is dangerous. It's going to be a very, very interesting match. She's the favorite to win this thing right now. Yeah, and she should be. Look, if you look at the wheel, when they use that phrase, in your wheelhouse, every single category is in her wheelhouse. So it's amazing. I don't see a flaw in her at all. I also, it's going to take a monumental effort for anyone to beat Rachel. So she's my odds-on favorite, absolutely. Well, these competitors like to play, but they also like to talk. And they gave each other some shots, and you're going to see them right now. Right. So today is the Fatal 4 Way Inner Geekdom <laughs> Challenge, and there's four people up there. There might as well only be one. This is the only one that matters, people. There's three other people standing in my way. Coin Jandrew, you are a flash in the pan. Jason Inman, your little luck runs out. And Rachel Cushion, you made a terrible, pivotal mistake when you did not join the Misfits, Stacy and myself. So I've made a really good run this year in teams. I just had a hell of a run in the singles tournament. I feel really proud about that. But I've told you guys from the beginning, this oh, is where I belong. This far, no further. The other three people that are going to compete against me, they're done. Because I've been waiting <laughs> for the shot. You shall not pass. I was in last year's spectacular. I know that. I'm excited, man. I know that. I feel like I'm always uh, thrown into the Super Bowl. I feel like it just, you dive in. It's a really intense round every time. I love my competitors. I love the I love the game. Uh, I always come in here the game feeling is shaky, all... feeling unprepared, but always oh, ready, if that makes sense. I always want it. All right, we have Coy Jandrew and Jay Washington in this tournament, and to be honest with you, I don't know how much they paid to the devil or how much they paid to Christian Harloff because if you go watch their matches, they barely made it in here by luck. I think Jay's going to fall asleep in round one, and I think Coy's going to forget that he's even in a match and walk off set. Inman is a goofy buffoon, a baboon, a loser, a clown. I could do a whole bunch of other synonyms, but what he is is going down in this four-way. Jay's been running his mouth because that's what Jay does. He was nice to me for a while, but when I turned down the Misfits, he has turned back into the Urban Gladiator, yelling in my face, yelling about me online, whatever. Every time I'm here, I learn a little more. I get a little less heat under pressure. I feel more prepared going into it. I've had the knowledge. It's all in my head. It's just a matter of fighting myself. Uh, you know Mario Kart where you're chasing a ghost yourself? Whenever I'm here, I'm not fighting the other people. I'm chasing my own ghost. I'm just trying to beat myself last time. That's what I'm doing here today. But... Getting that belt with you. My fellow geeks, I respect your knowledge. I love that we love the same things, but this is the point where I've gotta be mean. I gotta slap you down because it is time for this Phoenix to rise because that belt is gonna be coming with this one. I Whoa. promise you this, when I win, it will be glorious. So Rachel Cushing, glorious. Joy Jandrew, and Jason Edmond, and even Hector Navarro, there are only two things you can do about it, and that's nothing, and deal with it. Damn it. We're all fellow geeks, we all love these movies, but I gotta get through all three of these guys to take on the real challenge, and that is Hector Navarro at Spectacular. Navarro! Can you dig it, sucker? Well, no surprise that Jay Washington had the biggest mouth out of all of them. Yeah, well. um, and <laughs> there with him, and they are saying he's going to be the next champion. That's what I love, though, about all these competitors, including yeah. Jay Washington. They all want Navarro. Yeah. They all want to play. They have their eye on the prize. They're ready to go. Yeah, I remember being a contender. You want that belt. You want to go out. You're motivated yeah, to get it. And he's, they're all <laughs> 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 Jason Inman had a bit of a shot. Oh, okay. I was a little surprised by this. Got a little edge to him. He's always that. Yeah, he's always that. Yeah. Inman, Inman's always that guy that can, you know, he's so lovable, but he can yeah. throw those little jabs. Uh -huh. And you're just like, oh, well, it's in. Jib just like that lots of bear in Toy Story 3. You think he's going to battle around. And then all of a sudden, he's good old he's that running all That's right. It's all right. Suddenly. Well, it's time for Tale of the Tape. Let's start with Coy Jandrew. DC movie news, Marvel movie news, and Heroes. Those are some of the strengths for Coy yeah, Jandrew. Exactly. You got Jay Washington, same thing. Comic book movies, obviously DC, villains, all that stuff in there. Talking loudly, also a skill of Jay Washington. <laughs> and then Jason Inman, Star Trek, comic book movies, and throwing jabs and still being a nice guy. Yeah. And then finally, Rachel Cushing, Harry Potter, Lords of the Ring, and... Just being all right, scary with a smile on her face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She has her own personal Hogwarts castle in the backyard. I've seen it. It's pretty amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's oh. time for the movie trivia. Shimona. Woo! Yeah. Three rounds in the Inner Geekdom Division for the number one contender. 
Introducing first. Representing oh, yes. <laughs> the Misfits. With a record of one win. No repeats. <laughs> is the Urban Gladiator, Jay Washington. Shout out to Stacey's boots. I like those boots. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You can't fit them, Roka. Absolutely not. You're right. You're and right. his opponent. Representing Marvel Movie News. With a record of one win. No defeats. He is crazy. Boy, Jandrew. Seeker. Seeker. Got it. Yeah, so, 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 there you go. Okay. There we go. 
Seeger, Fournette, Snitch. Snitch. And Rachel. I remember that. Would have been shot the shit out. Snitch. I'll turn this star. Oh, yeah. yeah let's let's rock it in already. What is Marvel movies? Who played Mystique in 2000's Ooh. X Men? Have you ever seen an X Men movie? Uh, I've seen all of those. All of them. For Four better or worse. Movies. Even the ones that were made in the late 60s. Yes. Then you're lying. Is there never one? I made X Men movies in the 60s. You're lying. I went to Five. It. Oh, it's Four. Triple X Men. That's the one. Three. I apologize. <laughs> Two. One. Jay Washington. Becker Romain Stamos. Yep. That is correct. Yeah. Rebecca Romain then Stamos. That's now. all right. Rebecca Romain. Nice. Cushion. Rebecca Romain. That is correct. And Rebecca Romain is famous. Nice. Nice. Okay. 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 Just keep it simple. 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 Just around the board here. Your next category is the category of DC films. What is the name of the mysterious group that trains Bruce Wayne and is ultimately behind the plot to bring down Gotham and Batman Begins? I don't know. Rachel Cushion says this is her favorite Batman movie. Which one? Batman Begins? Yeah, she lost the match because of that comment. No, I'm just kidding. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I, I <laughs> it's good. Man, it's though. good. It's a great one. I love really that movie. Right Two. One. Courtney Andrews. The League of Shadows. That is Yay. correct. Rachel Cushion. League of Shadows. Correct. Jason Inman. The League of Shadows. Hey, Jay Washington. League of Shadows. <laughs> they have wow. not missed. They have wow. not missed. See, the comic book is called the League All the way around the board. Here we go. Oh, yeah. All right. Next category. Star Wars. Because they're an arrow. Should be that. Who played Cassian Andor in Rogue oh, One? Shit. Oh, uh, good old Rogue Cassian. One. Did you see this Rogue One? How many times? In the theater? Sure. Two or three? Really? Yeah. She didn't want it in Blu-ray. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. That's what five times. Five. That's what I put. Four. <laughs> I can't remember. Three. What's the other guy's name? Right? Two. Oh, sorry, talk to me. One. No, Rachel Cushing. Diego Luna. That is correct. Oh, cool. I didn't know Diego that. Luna. Yes. Yes. I was like, it's Mexican. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's not Riz Ahmed. That's the guy I was oh, thinking about. Jason, <laughs> Jason and Rachel here. Surprise. Oh, Jay, quite missed. Yeah, I didn't know the uh, other guy. Rears, it's ugly head to Jay Washington. That guy was in uh, that Star Wars category. Mm. All right. In the category of Star Trek, who plays Hikaru Sulu in the rebooted Star Trek movie series? Oh. Got that name with one shot. You did. It was amazing. Yeah, really I thought you were stumped because you hate Star Trek so long. Yeah. No, I do not. That's not true at all. Really? Right. No, I can't hey, remember you. if it's Ooh. there. It is. This last Three, name. If it's two, one. Okay. Heads down. Jason Inman. John Cho. That is correct. Hey. Jason. I almost beat Chow. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. I didn't do that. Nine uh, George <laughs> came in. Wow. 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 Rachel. John Cho. John Cho. Jason Inman and Rachel. The look, so bitter. The look, so bitter. The look on Jason's face and Rachel uh, hoping she was going to miss yeah, is yeah. amazing. Um, okay. Oh, 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 Star Trek. Trek. They're both like doing both Trek. Trek. perfect here. Okay, next question. No, don't, don't believe oh, that. Lots of air is tricky. Mr. Right. Lord of the Rings, next question. What is the name of the monstrous demon-like creature that Gandalf battles in the minds of Moria? Oh, wait. Come on, ask a hard one. Oh, oh yeah, really? God. God. Cushing. Swagger. Look at Rachel Cushing throwing out some yeah. heat. She's been learning from Ken a little bit. I like it. And five. Four. Yes! <laughs> One, Jay Washington. Smoke. That's incorrect. Smoke. Smalrog. That is correct. Rachel. Balrog. That is correct. Balrog. 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 What's Balrog. 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 What does Pepper have in the on the movie. old miniature arc reactor oh. that she gave Tony as a gift? Now, this is a tough one. It's a hard one, right? It's you know? all a little bit stumped. Did you drive the airman series? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize that was you talking about. Oh, okay. Uh, five, four. Repeat the question. Oh, there you uh, go. First, right. one, first one for Jason. It's a long one. And what does Pepper write it have down. engraved on the old miniature arc reactor that she gives Tony as a gift? Five. Four, three, two, one. Ruth, heads down. Tony Stark has a heart. Always in your heart? No. That is incorrect. Uh, Rachel Cushing? I guess heart of stone. Uh, I guess proof that Tony Stark has a heart. That's exactly correct. That's correct. Tony Stark has a heart. That's correct. Jason Inman. Jason Inman. Hey, Washington. Cushing is kind of this one. Jason capitalizes and has a one point victory here. But Jay Washington hitting that. That was big for Jay, capitalizing on the fact that Rachel missed. Yeah. Really surprising. All right. Here we go. Next category is Tony the Hobbit, the best trilogy from Tolkien. <laughs> An unexpected journey. Soon after catching up with the dwarves, what did Bilbo forget that he wanted to go back for? Jason Inman looks at the term. He well, is very good. Right? That's, that's uh, Tom Baker's scarf gives you, uh, you know, gives you strength. He didn't know yeah, you had. It's an easy one. Five, four, 
three. Watch my bilbos again. Two, my, I mean, my one, offense. Right down, Rachel Cushing. Handkerchief. That's correct. Isn't it? Right. Yeah, no clue. Okay. <laughs> nice. like, Wait, we have to turn around. I forgot wow. my handkerchief. Gosh. They just cut the part of the cloth. Yeah, take this. How did you see the Hobbit? I don't remember that at all. As we get into our next question here, which is question number nine, the DC EU. Who wrote the screenplay for Man of Steel? Wow, Jason, just scribbling down as fast as he can there. What's last one? Let's go with this. I like it very yeah. much. You like it? Yeah. It's, it was good. Uh, it was maybe he directed it and wrote it. Hand, oh, hand, cool. that's who I'm running. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> Two. One pen down, please. Jason Inman. David Goyer. That is correct. Oh. That's, that's uh, correct. what's his name's buddy. That's, yeah. that's incorrect. Mm. I guess the key to golden. Wow. wow. Jason wow. Inman in here. So Jason Inman, if he hits the next Can't question that first round, and you get the I've seen that I've seen that name everywhere. Right. Right. Here we go. Right. 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 So that's all right. 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 Here we go. Category mixed bag. In Back to the Future 3, what did the huge machine that Doc Brown built in his workshop successfully The so one Back to the Future I've seen. I think we can't. I've never seen this one. I've never seen it. <laughs> I'm alright, so I've seen the first one. Okay, alright. Four, three, Christopher Nell. Two, that's it, that's one, Jay Walker. David Goyer. Ice, it was in the refrigerator. Ice is correct. Yes. Uh, I think I caught people. Newer. Incorrect. <laughs> what is it? I'm not paying attention. Ja and Jason. Ice Cube. Oh, oh. Wow. Perfect round. Yeah. Damn. Perfect round for Jason Inman right. taking a three point lead here. A giant and ice cube. Jason, you are the only one in the You can just guess, Coy. Have to answer. Woo! Here we go, Jason. Your bonus question. I mean, you got it. Uh, what is the name of the Joker's henchman that turns on the boombox in the museum at 1989's Batman? Uh, they made an action figure of him, Bob. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not Bob? That's it. No, you're correct. It's in the song. 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 It's in Complete. I mean, just a dominant round here, Jeff. Well, he had to know. He knew Rachel was in the mix. He knew he had to bring it, and he did. And you know, Coy's not out of this thing, Chris. Uh, we've no. seen the second round do some no. crazy things in sports. And so. Rachel's not out of this no, round. Rachel, no. Rachel, it's one one wheel category, and she is good to go here. You don't count out Jay to Washington. No, no, it's seven to seven. Yeah, Rachel, cool. All right, here okay, we go. Guys, round right. number yep. two is going to work like this. Question. The competitors are going to spin oh, the please, wheel. Please, Each please, please, competitor please. will get a spin on the wheel. Right. They will get three questions Let's get some good in categories. this round. Star Wars. Yeah, no cameras. Oh wait! <laughs> choice is worth one. You know, the other competitors go. can steal, and they should be writing the answer down on their board while the competitor <laughs> is getting their question. They will have the same. They'll have five seconds to answer once the competitor misses. All right. So you should be writing your question. You should be writing the answer down right away, whether they hit it or not. All right. So here we go. All right. Jason, I mean, you're in the lead. You can choose to go first or second, or you can wait. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to defer. You're going to mm. defer, right? That would throw it to Rachel. Unless Rachel does not want to go, she can throw it to Jay. Okay. All right, Rachel's oh, going to go first. All right. Very bold move by Rachel. You know she has some ground to make up. Right, yeah, why not? Yeah. Rachel's going to give it a big spin here. She's going to try to get herself oh, back. Good spin. Yeah. Good spin. Oh, oh, yeah. Harry Potter, she gets it. I'm going to assume, I'm gonna assume yeah. she wants it. Close my camera. Right. Right. What's Harry Potter's, Harry Potter's Potter, like name? Rachel. I don't think I'm going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> What's Harry Potter's name? Fuck. <laughs> okay. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, how does Harry describe his first kiss with Cho Chang? Wet. Correct Ooh. for two points. Yes. All right. The crying. Killing Curse also goes by what name? I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. The Killing Curse also goes by what name? Uh -huh. Funny Canal! Two points! Ah, uh ah, -huh. Rachel <laughs> taking the lead. Uh -huh. Her first lead. All right. Uh -huh. Who played the newly appointed Minister of Magic, Rufus uh -huh. Scrimgore, in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1? They changed people so much, I can't remember him. Bill Nye. Two more. Ah, Bill Nye? Nye? Yeah. That's the board. That's science guy? No, that's the other one. Bill Nye. That's the science guy. That's why it's my help. Bill Nye. Don't pass off the J. Don't pass off the J. Ooh, perfect round. Unless you want to pass the court. 
Force Force you need to be some Harry Potter trivia somewhere. Want to give it a good spin? You need to unlock the inner geekdom <laughs> category <laughs> and uh, right, yeah. 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 I need four no. All right, and it's gonna land on. Oh, 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 do you want to stay on villains? Do you want to spin again? Let's do it. Yes. Yes. All right, All right. All right. Like, yeah. Remember, you are you sure about that? Are you like Harry, Harry Potter, Potter villains? <laughs> well, there are villains in Harry uh, Potter. Koi, in Back to the Future, what is in the truck that Biff and his friends crash into oh. over the score skateboard chase in the door? Thank, Thank you! you. <laughs> Woo! Shit! Give yourself one more point. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, I mean, you're not going to catch up. No. Frigga, Thor's mother in Thor of the Dark World. Oh. Uh, the Ice King, um... Good old Christopher Eccleston. Four, three, Multiple choice. Uh, is it A. Algrim, B. Malekith, C. Jane Foster, or D. Loki? God, right. you suck. D. Loki. That's oh, incorrect. So Malekith. Turn, turn the. What do you got? Malekith. Malekith is incorrect. Algrim. Oh. That's correct. Oh, what do you oh, only oh, it's Algrim. It's Algrim. It's Algrim. It's Algrim. It's Algrim. It's Algrim. It's Alright, third time. Alright, what was the name of the main villain in 2004? Yeah. Hellboy. I need to watch those again. We do get a lot of Hellboy missions. Multiple choice. Alright, is it A. Boris, B. Rasputin, C. Alexi, or D. Ivan? Fine. C. Alexi. Incorrect for the steel J. Rasputin. That is correct. Yes! That name right. spoke to me. That is correct. Right. It works okay. So one point for Rachel, one point for Jason, one point for Jay. So 15, then, 11, go see. 11, 8, and Koi has 6. All right. Oh, so here we go. Did. Then now that it is time for Jay right. Washington to spin saying? the wheel. Koi needs some steals here. He's got to oh, hope that Jay misses. But Rachel Cushing got herself in a nice position here. I want to go see All if right. I have no fucking clue. Then I just and go see. Go <laughs> Percentage game then. No! Heroes hey, we did villains and two heroes. Heroes are so. Hey, Jay, go at Jay. <laughs> Shot! I haven't seen this since. Give you uh, more of a choice for MCU. Give you five seconds. You gotta stick with heroes. Five, five, four, 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 Oh, uh -oh. Choice. Uh -oh. Yes. Oh, oh, boy. It is again. All right. So here we go. Jay for your first question. In Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, what is Indy's reply to his father when he remarks, I didn't know you could fly a plane? Oh, that's yeah, that's good. Multiple well, choice. Is it? A, depends on what you mean by fact. Ah. B, me neither. I knew C, I was. I just, uh, I'm glad I didn't say anything. Fly yes, land no. Fly yes, land. Uh, fly yes, land. That's correct. Yes. Yes. I knew it was something to do with landing. All right. <laughs> All right. What birthday was Bilbo celebrating in Fellowship of the Ring? I know that one. 111. Woo! Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that one. What? <laughs> well done. All right. What is the name of the place that Ant-Man enters? When he goes Shit. up the top. What is this place called? The Quantum Realm. Damn! Damn. Jay Washington! Jay. Phenomenal! Quantum Realm. Unbelievable that. round for Jay. Now Jason Inman is up for the final spin yeah, round two. Great <laughs> round by Jay. Yeah. The spin. Why do you have certain ways they spin the wheel? I feel like I'm destroyed. I did not have great luck with the wheel. No, no. And, oh, but not this time. Oh, oh God. Not this time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. The, wheel, the wheel told him to oh, shut his trap. Right. That's the ninth wheel. Which I'm slowly. Yeah, you're watching the movies right now, so you're going to know more shit than I am. Well, really I haven't watched the movies since high school. <laughs> and I've got the new ones. Ray, you should watch them again. They're all on Amazon. I have nothing but joy getting to ask Jason these questions. In Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, Kirk tells Sadik that he doesn't believe in what kind of scenario? Okay. No answer. Yeah, yeah, boy, boy, you go. See? <laughs> well, <laughs> Your weakness is right. not going to be a weakness. What Star Trek long. film was the first to win an Academy Award? Uh, Interesting. Oh, no. right. Let's go for multiple choice. All right. Is it Star Trek from 2009, 
Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, Star Trek Generations, or Star Trek V, The Final Frontier? I think it's Star Trek 2009. That is correct. Woohoo! <laughs> can take the lead on Rachel. I, I figured it wasn't Wrath of Khan. I knew it wasn't Sea or Dean. I was like, that's not it. Those were weird, terrible. <laughs> Apparently. That's right. In Star Trek Three, Kirk and the crew stole the Enterprise to retrieve Spock from the Genesis planet. In an attempt to stop them, Starfleet sent sent USS Excelsior that. after them. Who was in command of the Excelsior? Jesus, multiple choice. <laughs> is, it, <laughs> is it A, Captain yeah. Stiles, B, Captain Ramirez, C, Captain Roberts, or D, Captain Grimes? I think it's Roberts. It's incorrect. It's incorrect. Damn. Damn. Steel here. I really, uh, what are you doing? doing? Roberts. That is incorrect. Coy. Grimes? That is uh, incorrect. Mm -hmm. Rachel? I have no idea, so I said B. Uh, incorrect. Yeah. Yeah. Styles. Hey, Styles. got it. Wow. Oh, I, know. Know. I didn't know it. <laughs> Now, I would have to watch that movie over and over again, which is something I'm never going to do again. <laughs> Star Trek 30 sounds like good. Jay Washington has a big deal. Anyone gets Star Trek and didn't then crush it. Serious trouble here. Six uh, points going in like to the third round. Because she's the crusher. The third round works like this. We have 17 categories. Please pick three numbers from 1 to 17. And remember the numbers that your competitor takes because you cannot take those. Rachel Cushing is in the lead. Rachel, take three numbers from 1 to 17. 7, 8, 2. 7, 8, 2. Jason Inman, you are up next. He goes to 21? 17. 17. Thanks for listening. Yes, you're welcome. Let's go 9, 7, and 1. 7 was taken. Oh, Sorry. 12. 9, 12, and 1. 9, 12, and 1. Jay Washington up third. 14, 4, and 3. 14, 4, and 3, and Coy Dandrew. 15, 5, and 10. 10. All right, so here we go. Coy Jandrew has to score enough points to get past Jay Washington. If he does not, he will be eliminated. We're going to start with Coy, who chose 15 for his okay. first Some good five question. Points, 15, Coy, that is in the world of... Movie release date. Oh, movie release date. Bitch. Two pointer. Movie release date. Uh, what year? I knew that was coming. What year saw the release of four? Two thousand and ten. Ah, Correct. Nice. Two thousand and eleven. Two thousand and eleven. Two points. Boy, Andrew needs to hit his three pointer. Or he will be eliminated. All right, Corey. So you chose category number five. That is Marvel films. Who played Blaze's girlfriend, Roxanne Simpson, in Ghost Rider? I've seen it. Evan Mendes. Four, three points. You should know that. Right. Right. All right, and there's the girl with the ball on her face. Two, I her name. Stay alive. Evan Mendes. You need to hit your five pointer. And for your five pointer, you chose category number ten. Just Indiana Jones. Da, 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 da. What tribe chases Indy at the beginning <laughs> of Raiders of the Lost Ark? Tribe? I don't know. Is there a multiple choice in there? There is not. I didn't think so up here then. Five, <laughs> four, the Aztecs? We were looking for Javitos. Javitos. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. Coy Jandrew has been Gets a chance right away. If yeah, he gets his yeah, two pointer, it will bounce right back to Jason in But he had terrible John Zero's <laughs> category honest. number 14. Yeah, that's the category of heroes. Following him again, <laughs> Jay Washington. Your two point question Who plays mercenary and bounty Barb Wire in the film Barb Wire? What? Uh, <laughs> what the hell's that? Wow. Oh my god. Oh, oh, um, five, four, three. <laughs> Two. Oh my God. One. No. Nothing. No. No. no he no, doesn't no, use a repeat, oh. and he loses. Pamela Anderson. Wow. Pamela Anderson. Wow. 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 Anderson. I'm surprised. Wow. He should have used the JT Eagle there. Why? I thought he got it. I know. When you get to that third round. All right. Round. So Jay Washington, choice number two here. All right. Category yeah. number four. 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 Well, 
Category number four is the category of villains. Oh. All right, for you the three point question. George Harkness is the real name of what member of the Suicide Squad? Captain Boomerang. Yeah, yeah Jay Washington. Suicide Squad has been Jay Washington's friend uh, throughout the year. <laughs> for sure. He's just a He's an arrow. Now we go to who has 14 points here. Jason is his two pointer, and that is category number nine. And that's Back to the Future. Oh, that's Back to the Future for Jason Inman. Something I do not know well. No, you don't. Jason <laughs> What was the name of the school dance where Marty's parents oh. fell for each other? Can I can I hear the end of the question? Yes. Yeah. What is it with the What was the name of the school dance where Marty's parents fell for each other? Is it um, the enchantment under the sea dance? That's correct. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, right. so, 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 Rachel Cushing has tied it up, and now we bounce to Rachel Cushing, who needs in her first two point to take the lead back. And Rachel oh, Cushing seven. has category number seven. All right, that's the MCU. Rachel, in what city do the majority of the Earth-based scenes take place in city. Thor of the Dark World? London. That's correct. Four yes. two points. Rachel, oh, thinking about it. I was like, wait, that sounds good. Hey, go ahead. Jay Washington will be up first. He's a lower ranked competitor here. Good. And Jay Washington yeah, but I'm has to be <laughs> There's no going back for this. I'm 45. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jay Washington chose <laughs> category you can't number three. Right. Need to push him aside stop. because this is Harry Potter. What? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. God, Henry uh, Newton is dead for All right, place. Jay, here we go. Who played Bill Weasley in the Harry Potter franchise? Oh, oh, oh crap. It's a. Uh, Damn, I know it too. I tell you, this is a tough one. I just go ahead and say this it. Is a real tough one. No, I don't know it. No. Oh, got it. Four. It's Dark Weasley. Three. Who be the Who played Bill Weasley from the it's Harry like Potter franchise? His father is Mad Eye Booty. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, it was Donald Gleason, and with that, Jay Washington has been eliminated. Jay Washington. Right now, I'm trying to break records. Right now, I am what? We are down to Rachel Cushing. I'm 30 points. Got 14. Jason Inman now is up to the score. Jason Inman had category number 12 for his. Three point. Scores and soundtracks, Jason Inman. Your oh, three pointer. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Your three pointer. The closing credits song for The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, shares its name with which character? That's a hard one. Rachel. The Cushion. angry look from Rachel Cushion. The end coming out of Rachel Cushion's ear. Oh. Gone. That's three points! Oh. 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 Jason Inman. Oh. Oh. Now we go to Rachel Cushing, who has had her three pointer. Heavyweight fight. Her three pointer here. Here we go. Rachel Cushing for three points in the realm of DC films. Who plays the villainous Laurel Heater in 2004's Catwoman? That movie stinks. Yes, it did. Oh, it plays the villainous. Yeah. Fine. Laura Flynn Boyle? Sharon Stone. Sharon Stone. Stone. Yeah, Sharon Stone. Stone. Yeah. So Rachel wow. Cushing needs to hit a wow. five pointer. Right. Or boy has a chance though. Let's go. Jason Inman will be playing Hector Navarro for Navarro! the championship. Was a deep cut. Right, here we go. Rachel oh, cares about oh, I'm never gonna watch it. Know how Lord of the Lord Rings. Here we go, Lord of oh, the my Rings. God. <laughs> okay. In Fellowship of the Ring, Gandalf tells us that Gollum has been captured and tortured by the enemy. What two words were the enemy able to extract from Gollum? Baggins and Shire. Five. <laughs> Shire! Cushing. Baggins! It comes down to this. So it's going to be Star Trek, right? Jason <laughs> Inman. Wow. Jason Inman is going uh. to answer his five-pointer. Uh, 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 if he hits it, he uh, uh, plays for the championship. If he misses, Rachel Cushing will play for the championship. John, what do you pull? This is as it should be, the DCEU. That's your oh, category. Right. I just amazing, right. amazing. The five-point question is: Jesus. In Man of Steel, during the vision sequence where Zod is showing Clark his plans for the Earth, 
Clark is wearing a t-shirt representing what real world sports team? My home team, the Kansas City Royals. Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn. Oh, that was good, that was a good match. I get that because I want that for Oh my god! <laughs> you ran out of room to put points on your board. You're gonna have to come over here and start putting them on mine. <laughs> Damn! Man. Damn. Yeah. So there you go. Let's do that. Is your winner playing Hector Navarro at the? It's funny because Navarro denied uh, him a title shot. shot. And my goodness. It's gonna be a good match. It's been a Navarro. Yep. Here we go. What's up, Movie Show Showdown fans? Emma Pike here with your new Air Geekdom number one contender, Mr. Jason. Who is it? What are we? That sounds like music to my ears. Remember how I told you last time we talked? Yes. I told, I in your match against you, I was like, this is destiny. And how destined was it that I got a question about my home state. It's very true. Yeah, true. It's very true. <laughs> you about I mean, the, uh, you can't deny. There's, uh, there's a little bit of a... Uh, top 10 show. I think the fates of the showdown are smiling at me because they know where that belt is coming to live. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this has been a very long time coming. You've been mm -hmm. gunning for Hector Navarro for a long time. Yes. And you keep coming in here mm -hmm. and you never give up. You're extremely persistent and it's paid off. It has. And remember last year, I told him in that three almost three-way match, I told him that he was going to face me one way or another. And guess what? It is now this is happening. It. This is the other. Hector, you better dream about that belt because you're not going to have it after much longer. I mean, and, and what a win today. I mean, you and Thank Rachel you. were neck and neck the entire time. I want to give a lot of mad respect to Rachel because she was... KO'd and killed by a terrible question from a terrible movie. Awful movie. And to be honest with you, when Christian said that her last category was Lord of the Rings, I figured I was done for. for so sure. my hat is off to Rachel. She was with me neck and neck the entire way. I actually thought that that was a very hard inner geekdom. It was. Nobody got through. The questions were amazing. Absolutely. I mean, and, and what an exciting round, too, mm -hmm. with so many people, you and Rachel in particular, getting categories that you're extremely strong in. I, I mean, know. I was on the edge of my seat. I know, but I gotta say, like, my Star Trek category, which is a strength of mine, tough. was pretty tough. It was, tough. It was pretty tough for a normal yeah, Star Trek. Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, that, that's <laughs> the thing about Inner Geekdom is sometimes you get those questions that are like, who played who in this it's movie? And we're like, what color was the shirt of the and third nobody, guy in the left? No real geek cares. <laughs> don't care who Sheriff Cook plays. I don't stars. care who Captain don't, Styles is. Yeah, He's in one scene. I don't, I don't care about anything to do with that Captain Styles movie at all. I don't. I have to say, I feel very honored in a way that I lost to you, who oh. could potentially be you the YouTube champion. Exactly. <laughs> 35 to points. The 35 current, points. if you do be Hector Thank tomorrow, you. Thank you. Well, champion. It was a great match with you. It was a great match with everybody today. And all I can say is uh, I made a promise to myself that I was going to do a certain entrance when I got to the championship. So be on the lookout. Oh, I am very excited to see what this is. Do you have <laughs> anything to say to your upcoming opponent, Hector Navarro? Any final oh. words before you uh, head into this match in the spectacular? I would say, Hector, you had better study the most you ever study for this because I've said for a year, that belt is mine. And now that I have the chance, it's coming home with me. I mean, it's very possible that Hector's been resting on his laurels a That's little, true. but I think he better him. watch out <laughs> for you. Jason Inman, congratulations Thank again you. today. And we will be right back with Rachel Cushing. And we are back with Rachel Cushing. Rachel, you again, and Jason and Ben were really neck and neck ish. for this whole match. I mean, you thought she really was close in she round one. Not close. Like She's like you were not gonna the miss. Duke of college basketball. The Duke's worth like five championships. And that's the thing. Her knowledge is terrible. She's like the cat Katniss Everdeen. And for this, and I knew he'd be Katniss worth the hundred games. She's like, got me, you know, unfortunately, he just, he got me. But time. honestly, but you had such a strong comeback in round two. I mean, you landed on that Harry Potter, thankfully. <laughs> the whole audience was out of their seats, applauding, cheering. We were so excited for you and you knocked it out of the park, of course. <laughs> well, if I get a Harry Potter question wrong, I think there's something wrong and I don't belong in an interview. Group. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, thankfully, I was able to keep it a game. Like, I, I would be more upset. I'm, you know, upset that I lost, but I'd be more upset if I if I didn't keep it close. And I, mean, I did my best to do that. you were in the lead going into that final round there and honestly Rachel I have to tell you uh, there is no shame 
in missing a question about that god awful Catwoman movie. Exactly. Who even saw that? Or if they no did, one. who kept it in their memory? I think we would all like to forget that that even exists. No, I Flush. absolutely blocked it out, and, and I was really praying it would never come up in the interview room. And of course, there it, it is. Got me. Yeah. So uh, everybody who's got their nemesis in the uh, showdown, I think mine's officially Sharon Stone. Yeah, yours is now point. Sharon Stone, or just Catwoman in general. I, I think that now we would like to officially petition for that movie to never happen again in any Schmodown ever, let alone inner geekdom. Because Rachel, I mean, it, it ultimately, I have to tell you, I think it came down to Jason Inman winning because he's got the hometown advantage. She's freaking from Kansas City. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, no offense to Jason Inman. He's a wonderful competitor. However, it, it really did come down to that. And I, you know, Rachel, I think that you, you can leave today with your head held very high and we'll be seeing you competing again very, very soon. So again, my condolences to you, Rachel, but it was a it was a good fight, and I think there's still a lot of people out there. I know, in fact, that there are still a lot of people out there that really, really believe in you, and uh, we all look forward to seeing you continue to shine here in the future. Thank you so much. And we are here with Jay Washington. Jay, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. You did quite well today. Pretty impressed? Yeah. Why aren't you not shocked that I didn't win? Did you not see the score? Did you not see how I kept up? I told the whole world, the entire internet, I was studying for this. Sure. Were you just as shocked when I beat Robert Meyer Burnett when he was crying? Were you just as shocked <laughs> that I'm even here to do that, huh? You see, your mouth is dropped. I mean, You're I was... in the presence of gloriousness. Oh, Pick up your I'm a little surprised by the Robert Meyer Burnett win, I will admit. Uh, so why but... were you shocked? I'm only shocked that I lost, okay? I just, I recently decided to apply myself in this glorious knowledge to learning Harry Potter films and Lord of the Rings, and I got questions I heard everyone in the audience shocked about. But then it just happened to be one that to get that dollar, please. Oh, well, we That's move first on. Next thought, question. Man. Well, I mean, you've had your, your kind of head-to-head head with Rachel Cushing in the past, and you oh, tried yeah, to get her to join the Misfits. She... Before Not surprisingly, he, before he made, declined. Before he you seem a little too excited about that. Listen, You Rachel. seem a little too happy about that. Not surprisingly, declined. She made a terrible mistake, and guess what? It could have been one of the misfits in the spectacular, and guess what? She lost as well. So, next question. Listen, Rachel Cushing beat you today. <laughs> but she didn't beat the winner. It doesn't really matter. You know, in the history <laughs> books, they only count the winners and losers. And technically, the three of us will be considered a loser, but I'm still glorious. But Jason Inman, I don't know how long this little BS spark is going to keep lasting. One, we'll know he'll get smoked in the spectacular. But next question. So you are basically saying that you're absolutely coming back and you're going to personally take people down in the spectacular in you some are, form or another. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I mean, you try, you're drawing it out the long way. Let's say this. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jay Washington. You saw me in the inner geekdom fatal four way. Yes, I may have come up short, but guess what? That doesn't mean I can't beat people. Coy Jandra stood no chance. Jason Emmett got lucky being from the home team, and if it wasn't from a Gryffindor robe, I don't think Rachel Rachel Christian would have got any Harry Potter questions at all. So what you're looking at is a man who was making his stand through the inner geekdom and the show pronoun as a whole. And no matter what Emma Fife may say, Jen Sturgeon, when she's here, may say, the former commissioner Christian Harloff, the new Commissioner Thad and his horrible ass shirts may say, I will be in this league, and you can guarantee that. You got another question? Nope, I think we're done here. All right, so guess what? Here's something about this. There's kind of a couple things you can do about with the rest of this interview, and that's nothing, and deal with it. Damn it, and that's the end of this interview. Okay, then. Now we will deal be with right it. back with Koi Jandrew. Here he is. Koi, uh, well... Uh, you know, I, Jay Washington may have been talking a lot of smack on you, but, you know, I think I think you played well today. You know, I always just tried to do better than I did last time. Totally. I, uh, I missed some Thor stuff, but those are the weakest corner in the Marvel Universe for me. Like, I don't know. Them sure, well. sure. Uh, I, I chose oh, to watch Stranger Things instead of Thor 1 and 2 again. I mean, not, not a bad choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Nice, uh, Thor's great, but 11. I mean... Yeah. Oh, hey, great. Oh, that's so, nice. I mean, uh, Too really British for the competition. I love thinking of what oh, I know. Okay. You know it's we just don't know when that movie's The energy's good. The people are good. I like the game. Uh, I just want to do better next time. I want to keep learning. I want to yeah. keep growing. And you know, though you did have a very strong stab at Mike Kalinowski with the pudding entrance, you really do bring an air of positivity and love to the showdown, Koi, I gotta say. I got. I, I think we live in a magical time where there's an... There not only is this game, there's an inner geek to focusing on all the things we grew up loving. I remember not being able to wear a Spider-Man shirt in middle school, and now there's a cat Category that Spider-Man's a part of Thor. Like, 
What a magical time! So I think that as much mic love and a little bit of pudding jab, it's all it's all good. Like this is a great thing. It is. It's a great time to be alive. It's a great time to be part of the movie trivia showdown in the Inner Geekdom League, as you say. Geeks are ruling the world right now. Oh, and I got my yeah. question. Yeah. came back, and I'm really happy about that. It's a, it is. It's, it's a good time, and I, and I think Koi, that you really, you embody everything that's really great about being a nerd, which is just celebrating the stuff that we like you and get to be excited and yell with four references. Right, and, and, and yes. he tries to beat you up or gives you weird looks. But my grandma can pronounce Mjolnir. Yes, we did it, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I can't wait to get back. I can't wait to do this. I want to diversify. I want to maybe try some team play. So as a regular play, I just want to be here as much as possible. Well, we look forward to having you here in any capacity, Koi. And uh, condolences on your loss. But you know what? It was great seeing you out there. Good to be here. <laughs> All right, so obviously you get you get Jay Washington, who should be as excited as he was Absolutely. because he played great. Coy Jandrew is, I don't think anything bothers that guy. No. So he, he was, he, again, he wants to play, wants to come back, a lot of respect. And Rachel Cushing, obviously a little bit upset. I would be too. Yeah, and Sharon Stone, that one, just Sharon Stone, that was it. Had she hit that? You obviously knew that five point uh, have some okay. and things could have just shifted. But 24, 22 was a plane between those two. Those two. And that yeah. was something. That was a great match. Dope. It was. And you know, when you win that okay. first, you get first, Jason with that first round. All 10 points. That matters. Sometimes the first round. Can't give you a little yeah. bit extra. You know, yeah. 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 35 point yeah. point yeah. point yeah. point yeah. That is awesome. So we don't have this problem again. Get all the good luck off this board. Is that blue water? Yeah. So you've got to give a lot of credit there to Jay Washington. Jay Washington. I think the third round got to Jay Washington. I think the third round, the pressure, because he didn't use that. He didn't use the JTE yep. rule in the first one, and I think that that kind of sunk him as well. Yep. But he knew that suicide uh, suicide squad question. Yeah. That was a big match for Jay. I think that we'll see Jay in the Inner Geek League again. Absolutely. Experience, experience yeah. match. Oh, Jay's going to take this. He's going to be better. Than well, there you go, guys. That Ooh, right. is it. That is your title match at the Schmodown Spectacular. Jason, Justice, Inman, does it again and wins another one of these Jack qualifiers, Horton. and this time he's going up against the champion Horton, Hector, the Nightmare of the <laughs> true. Who do you got? Like Make it. sure you leave it in the comments like it, so right that now. Who will be the champion by the end of December? Jim will it be the Nightmare or will Justice prevail? Go ahead and comment, it. and thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, do all of it. Otherwise, oh. I'm just going to quit. <laughs> I can't remember. Really remember Today's I was going. Oh, nope, we're gonna... good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you want to watch the uh, fancy update from Frank, whatever his name, from the Smodown Rundown? No. Oh, okay. Me either. That was the biggest beatdown of of our uh, <laughs> Smodown. <laughs> I mean, that Harry Potter, I was just like, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, Inner Kingdom's just not my thing. We need more, I, I, we need I, more of them. I gotta have to play like I don't know. I, I don't want to rewatch all the Harry Potter movies you again. Sh you just need to do some studying. I need to rewatch Lord of the Rings and Hobbit. That's for sure. Get. It's hard to remember all those weird names and stuff. That was hard. And then um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe rewatch Star Trek. Although that's a lot of work too. Oh, you don't have that much of a life. Comic book movies and Star Wars, I feel good on. It's all everything else that I'm. I think there was like one Star Wars question. I know. Whereas <laughs> that one last match, we got a ton of Star Wars questions. Which is funny because I didn't. I, didn't <laughs> I don't remember what the Star Wars question was. Oh, yeah, I don't remember. Alright, well. Till next week. Yep. Fuck this inner geekdom game! Peace out! <laughs>